Hey, hey, fellow Earthlings, and the rest too, of course, if you happen to be watching. Schumann Resonance has been off the charts lately, and uh, so have we. Have a look at the thumbtack looking thing here that is following the International Space Station. Does it look familiar to you? It does to me, and it kind of gives me the shivers as well. And I'm going to show you the reason why on number one of this countdown. But before we do, we have nine other incredible clips, so let's get right to it with another edition of Evidence for Extraterrestrials in episode 36 of I'm Just Gonna Say It. The top 10 most credible UFOs captured on video so far this year. Here we go. UFO sightings have been steadily increasing uh, these last years and the footage is getting better as we speak with everyone having 4K video on their phones these days. Social distancing or not, our extraterrestrial friends keep paying us visits it seems. So let's not waste any time and start right away with number 10. April 8th, 2020, Stockton, California, USA. We see a UFO uh, seemingly unloading more little mini-me's. Let's have a look. Pretty amazing. At the same time in, in Utica, New York, another sighting was captured on video, bringing us to number 9. April 8th, 2020, Utica, New York, USA. This clip is being shot in the daytime. Uh, we see another fleet of unidentified flying objects hovering in what could be called a formation. Now I always get the distinct feeling uh, they are showing us star maps with those formations. I've seen Orion and Pleiades before in, in there, I'm, I'm pretty sure. From both viewpoints actually, ours and the ETs. I mean, from our perspective, they see it from behind after all. <laughs> Something similar happened uh, four days earlier on number 8. April 4th, 2020, Cleveland, Ohio, USA. Again, we see a formation of flying micro dots. What the fuck is that though? Ain't nobody seeing this shit?
now they, they lightweight disappearing now. You can barely see them on the camera now. There's only three now. Closer up though. Uh, one thing can be said, uh, they appear to be intelligently controlled, which implies some form of life, of course. Duh. <laughs> now let's move on to number 7. April 11th, 2020. Wilnes, Utrecht, the Netherlands. Two friends are driving uh, in the province of Utrecht, somewhere in uh, the suburbs of Wilnes, a town in the Netherlands. They spot a craft above a residential area, flying uh, or hovering sort of parallel to their car at, say, a couple of hundred meters distance. Yeah, that is it. Yeah. Can we get the zoom from? Should we go here? Yeah. 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 Should we go here? Yeah. Yeah. You hear them saying, "Shall we follow it? Uh, let's follow it." I tried to find a, a sequel or something, but there is none. So that kind of makes me question the validity of it, but. Oh, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. February 21st, 2020, International Space Station. This clip is a total of 20 minutes long, but I made a compilation uh, showing the highlights. It shows a black craft filmed from the ISS, flying along, uh, along our planet's cloud deck, and finally zooming off into space. It is somewhat reminiscent uh, of the infamous Black Knight satellite, I must say. Shown here. It is an unknown object orbiting Earth, but as of yet it can be anything. Black Knight uh, believers claim it is an ancient uh, extraterrestrial satellite, there to keep track of us and, uh, and our planet. Before I continue, I want to humbly ask you all to uh, express your gratitude by clicking like to uh, and sharing this video for me. 
and to subscribe to his channel if you haven't done so already. If you like the show, of course. I mean, if you don't, well, <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? Who let you in anyway? Anyways. Also check out my Instagram uh, at AaronX and our Facebook page at facebook.com slash IJGSI. And now on to number 5. February 24th, 2020, Boston, Massachusetts, USA. Again a formation of lights uh, we are confronted with. This footage is shot very clearly uh, and it happens during dusk which enhances the view even more. Let's see. This is crazy, people. <laughs> nice. Nice. Pretty amazing, right? On to number 4. January 30th, 2020. Viva Air Airplane. Shot by a pilot from the pilot's seat of his A320, we see a super clear UFO zoom by the plane, showing why it deserves a spot in this top 10. Roll clip.
not your average weather balloon, right? <laughs> and with that, we have arrived at the top three. On number three, February 3rd, 2020, unknown, USA. We see a shot of a mountain with a very strange shaped craft hovering uh, close by. I'm not sure about the location, uh, but I suspect it's in the USA. The footage isn't uh, the clearest, but not bad at all. And for as far as I can uh, see, without needing all, uh, all the metadata and stuff of the file, which is like the, the EXIF data of images, it's uh, totally genuine. And with that bizarre craft, we arrive at number two. February 28th, 2020, Russia. This incredible clip features an ultra-close zoom in on an uh, unidentified flying object in Russia. We eventually get to see uh, a perfect disc uh, shape with a center window and uh, like the uh, cut out little section at the, at the front. Kind of like the, the Millennium Falcon, uh, if you will, from Star Wars. This shape uh, has been uh, reported on uh, many times actually and reminds me personally uh, of the UFOs that could be seen uh, in NASA's famous tether experiment. Let's have a look.
a well-deserved second place. And with that we have reached numero uno, January 25th, International Space Station. We see a thumbtack-shaped UFO, uh, tag along, pun intended, with the ISS. Now this is amazing enough, but when I saw this uh, thumbtack, it looked very familiar to me. I knew I saw it before somewhere, and then I remembered. Let's have a look. You might uh, remember this uh, from my um, recent episode on Helio Viewer and uh, anomalies around the Sun, where I where I featured uh, this years old video. Done deal, right? Pretty good match if you ask me. It always uh, came across as threatening to me. Not so much uh, in the second video, the main reason for which, in all likelihood, uh, being the fact that that one, the thumb, is, isn't nearly as big as the one by the sun, which is like a couple of planets in size. The nonetheless, a striking resemblance, and still earning it number one place in our list. Now, of course, I, I can't close off without a uh, first showing you guys another montage of other candidates that didn't make this list and other uh, rat footage in true E for E fashion. Here we go, cue dramatic music.
And with that, we have reached the end of this episode. Uh, all the links to the original clips are in the description. Again, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. And remember to tune in next week for episode 37, which will be another edition of Utopolis 1. This time on how the current crisis uh, might provide chances and even call for a solution like this. More on that in the next episode. The episode after that uh, will be another edition of Proof for the Paranormal. Also, keep a lookout for my live updates. Uh, I'm doing streaming sessions uh, more and more these days as well, when, uh, when the current events call me to do so, or when I have some inspiration or whatever. So until next time, take care of each other and yourself. Stay healthy, love y'all, keep meditating, and keep filming those skies. Preshi! Wake me when the show starts. It's already been on a while. Uh, wake me when it's over.